This Sunday marks the 100th anniversary of the passing of the Indian Citizenship Act. News 12's Hannah Gonzalez spoke with the Choctaw Nation chief about the significance for all Native Americans. Our tribal citizens were actually enlisting and fighting for the United States of America during World War I, even before they're classified as American citizens. The 14th Amendment, ratified in 1868, declared people who were born or naturalized in the U.S. to be citizens. This, however, did not extend to all Native Americans. That we were not even considered human enough to be citizens of the United States. It wasn't until 1924 when the Indian Citizenship Act was signed by President Calvin Coolidge, allowing Native Americans to hold dual citizenship with their tribe and the U.S. It's not that far removed from us. My grandfather, who was Choctaw and a veteran during World War II, he was born in 1917. He died at 102 a few years ago, but he wasn't a full citizen of the U.S. until he was seven years old. Despite this, most Native Americans still did not have the right to vote. The Library of Congress says this was due to the Constitution, leaving it up to each state to decide who could have access to a ballot. Other source material says only taxed American Indians were allowed to vote. And that's kind of a mixture of emotions for me, too, that I, even though we were citizens, we did not get the opportunity to vote until 1965. When the Voting Rights Act passed. I consider it as an honor to go vote. I believe it's a right for me and a privilege for me to go vote. So I would just encourage everybody to get involved in that government. In Durant, Hannah Gonzalez, News 12.